in this program, we can have two text boxes, a usable type of value into each, and then click the swap button, and the two values in the text boxes will be swapped. I've created a new project called Lecture 2, Exercise 2, and in this program we are going to illustrate the use of variables again. So all we need on this form are two text boxes and a button. So I'm going to just rename the call to f swap, and I'm going to change the text property of the form to swap as well. Next, I place the two text boxes on the form. I'm going to call the first one txt input1 and the other one txt input2. Buttons name will be BTN swap and the text on the button will be swap. And that is our complete form. I'm just going to click on save all to save the form as it is. So we want to create a click event handler. That will take the value that the user has entered into this text box, place it in that text box, and move the value that was in this text box over to the first text box. Right, so let's write that code. So you may think that we have to do this. We change the text property of the second box to text property of the first one and the other way around text input one text is equal to text input two text. Okay. Okay, so let's see what happens if we run the program like this. So here I type Bonnie, and here I type Clyde. So what we hope is that if I click on Swap, Clyde will move there and Bonnie will move over there. Okay, it doesn't work. And the reason for that is, if you look at the code here in the background, we first say that text input 2, the text property of that must be changed to body. Then we say the text property of input 1 must uh, change to text input 2, but text input 2 is already body. And that is why both will end up being body. So this is now where... Uh, a variable is really necessary. So I'm going to close the program so that I can edit my text. Then I'm going to create a string variable called placeholder. Okay. And then I'm going to say placeholder is equal to text input to dot text. Okay, so the value of the second text box will now be stored in this variable called placeholder. Then we can change that text input to's value. Okay, and then over here, instead of using the text box directly, we use the variable where we stored the initial value in placeholder. Okay, so let's run the program again. So now we type Bonnie, and we type Clyde, and if we now click on 
ਟਾਈਮ ਸਵਾ ਟਾਈਮ ਸਵਾਪ ਤੋਂ ਲੈ ਕੇ